Hi, my name is Manuel Alikani. I am Dean and Professor at Citor Academy, and I'd like to welcome you to another session of Citor Channel. The topic of today's discussion is to couple system. <music> If you remember from the last few sessions, we spent a lot of time to describing the simplest mechanotropy system in orthodontics and craniofacial orthopedics, that is one couple system. It cannot get simpler than that. You have one bracket on one tooth and you have an attachment that can produce one contact point in another tooth. So in one couple system, one side receives two contact points. Because of that two contact point, you had a couple, and because of that couple, you had a moment. On the other hand, in the other side, you had one contact point. Uh, there is no couple, therefore there is no moment. So in one couple system, we describe different factors that affect the one couple system. But with all those factors, at the end of the day, we had only one tooth receive a force and the moment and one tooth receive a force. And all those factors could only change the magnitude of the force. They couldn't change the direction of the force. Uh, the reason behind that is that wire that extends from one bracket to one attachment can get only two configuration. Either it stays straight or it will achieve a bend. And of course, I'm talking about the flexible wire. And if receive a bend, it, you know, it changed the magnitude of the force, not the direction of the force. We could also introduce to the rigid wire, we could introduce a bend, and still that bend has the same characteristic. It would change the magnitude of the force, but not the direction of the force. Doesn't matter where we put the bend. Now, what happens if we put the wire in one side in a bracket, and in another side also, we put it in the bracket? Now, we have two contact points in one side, two contact points in another side. So it's not one couple, it's actually two couple system. This system become very complex because not only uh, the magnitude of the force can change, depends on many factors. Actually, the direction of the forces and the moments can change too. Uh, one of the main reasons behind it is that the wire can get different shape. For example, it can stay as a straight piece of wire. Assume the two brackets are exactly in the same height, same angulation. They don't cause any deflection in the wire. Therefore, there is no force and moment in your system or it can achieve, uh, if it's flexible wire, it can achieve a curve depends on the angulation of the uh, brackets on the both side. This curve inside the wire can extend to one side, become asymmetrical, similar to the asymmetrical V-band, or it can be a staying in the center that will look like a symmetrical V-band. Again, I'm talking about the flexible wire configuration. But the same flexible wires, if we putting the change in the height of the brackets, can get the shape of the step band. Another new shape that we didn't have in one couple system. Or if we are changing the height and the angulation, it can achieve the shape of the step bands and the V band. In general, it doesn't matter what type of shape we are giving to the wire, uh, we usually have either a step or V band or combination of both when we are engaging the wire in two adjacent brackets. This configuration is not only in one dimension. Sometimes in uh, one dimension, the brackets push the wire to adopt a, for example, weave, and in another dimension, it's adopting a step band form. So remember, many times that you are analyzing a two couple system, you need to look at all the dimensions and see how the wire has adopted the shape in different dimensions. So each one of these configurations can change the magnitude of your forces, magnitude of the moments, and also direction of the forces and moments. What happens if I put a rigid wire? You can do the same things with the rigid wire. Uh, if the wire is passive, you can select to put your V-bands in center or asymmetric or a step bands or combination of step bands and V-bands. And uh, you dictate where the bands inside the wire will appear. The characteristic would be the same. It means in other words, you still have a two couple system and you should be able to analyze based on where you put your V-band in the rigid wire. The most important things in two couple system is angle of activation. Do you remember from previous session what was the angle of activation? It's the angle that the wire makes with the bracket before engaging inside the bracket. So let's look at the example. To make it simple, assume I'm using my hand and holding the wire that goes inside the bracket passively. Now assume I bring my hand 10 centimeter up. Well, I'm assuming I'm having a very big bracket. 
If I'm bringing my hand 10 cm up, I produce a significant amount of the couple. Why? Because the angle between the wire and the bracket before engaging inside the bracket increased significantly. On the other hand, if I bring my hand only 5 cm up, you will see the angle of activation is less and you expecting the couple that appear in the system would be less. Now, what happens if I move my hand 10 cm but I change the position of my hand? So I'm close to the bracket and I move my hand 10 cm and of course the angle of activation appears that is producing a good amount of couple. Now what happens if instead of holding the wire here, I hold the wire farther and now I move my hand 10 cm, exactly the same amount. Well, geometrically, you know that the angle of activation would be less. So by changing the position of my hand, even though I move my hand exactly the same uh, magnitude, the angle of activation reduces, the amount of the couple reduces, therefore the amount of the moment that the tooth will receive will be reduced. This is very important to pay attention. Angle of activation and angle of engagement are different. We talked about that before. Angle of activation is the angle that wire makes with the bracket before engaging in the bracket. But the wire, when it gets inside the bracket, it can actually rotate only a few degrees, depends on the slot size that you have. So angle of engagement by itself is not representative of how much couple or how much moment the tooth receives. So differentiate between angle of activation and angle of engagement. Now, let's use these principles and make ourselves ready to analyze a two-couple system. For simplicity, assume I have two brackets, completely the same weight, same angulation, from every aspect they're identical. And I'm standing equal distance between these two brackets and I have two pieces of wire exactly the same size, same shape, and I engage this wire in both brackets. And I lift my both hand 10 cm. What are you expecting to be the angle of activation in both brackets? Of course, it should be the same. Everything is identical. And how much the couple would appear in both brackets? It should be the same. Everything is identical. The moment should be the same. Everything is identical. Now, assume I do something else. I move myself closer to one bracket and farther away from another bracket. And I do the same exercise. I move my hand up exactly the same amount. We already talked about that a few minutes ago, that if you are changing the position of the hand, if you are getting closer to one bracket, the angle of activation goes up. If you are getting farther away from another bracket, the angle of activation reduces. Therefore, what are you expecting? If I'm getting closer to a bracket, the bracket that is close to me have a higher magnitude of the couple, higher magnitude of the moment, and the bracket that is farther away from me has a lower magnitude of the couple, lower magnitude of the moment. These principles can be used for explaining a two-couple system. That would be the subject of the next session. Please remember to review this session before we are starting the next session. That would be the analysis of two-couple system. Thank you for listening to another session of CTOR channel. I hope you find this session useful. Uh, please don't forget to subscribe to us if you have not subscribed already and please don't forget to press the like button. Thank you again.